guys, it's Kid Mathis back at it again, and today I'm printing, painting blah, 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 a Pringles can. I just painted it all with white, and now I'm doing the background color because I asked my sister, sharks or dragons for a Pringles can? She chose sharks. So, okay, now I'm just painting it on there. But the whole reason, the whole point of this certain Pringle can that I'm making for her is that way one day if we get both the same type of Pringle, she eats hers, I eat mine, we can put it in our different Pringle cans and I'll know, oh, that's my Pringle can. I'll know which one to eat. Oh, that's her Pringle can. I'm not going to touch it. You know, it's just to make sure that we know which one is which. Of course, I could just write I on the top of mine and X on the top of hers, but that would just be so basic. Yeah. So why not we take it a step further and customize a Pringles can? This is kind of like a how-to tutorial. You can sand it if you want, if you want, and you don't have to sand it. It's fine. Um... I sanded mine, but today I decided not to sand hers. If it starts chipping, I'll fix it. But yeah, so first things first is I just painted it all white. I used this. White. And I did no sketches. No sketches. And I'm, for this background color, it is this. It's a shiny, like, blue color. Oh, crap, I'm touching it. So. I'm just painting this everywhere. And you can see, I'm not going very even, but this is supposed to be kind of like an ocean. So when you think of an ocean, is it all going to be one solid color all the way across? There's going to be waves, there's going to be discolorations, um, there's going to be like the like clearer parts and darker parts. So that's why with this one, I'm not doing as many like go-arounds as I usually would with say a land thing. Because mine was like solid pink on the background. And I, I like the background as a solid pink. That was my can that I chose to design. And I thought it was pretty cool. So this one is hers, and it's, since it's an ocean, it's okay if it's not all the way through. So, choose your design. Start off with that. Choose your design. What, what do you want? You don't have to just use the Pringles can to just to hold your Pringles. You can use it for any other things, holding jewelry, whatever you want, basically. So, basically... Just choose your design, get your paint, whatever colors you need for your paint, and then start. You can, when you have the white, you can sketch. When you have the background color, you can sketch. I'm not sketching. With the last one I sketched, because I was having a bunch of different things. This one is just sharks. I might add the occasional jellyfish. Really depends. But it's sharks, which is another reason why I chose this sparkly blue. It's because the ocean has always looked sparkly to me. It's like it glistens and it shines. And I know that's because of the sun hitting it. It's just, it always feels so special. So. Really try and get in those cracks though, because you don't want like um, a bunch of white showing. You can have like the occasional, wait, let me just do it for you. You can have the occasional like cracks and stuff. That's fine, but you don't want like, like that. Look at how much white is actually showing. I know it looks like it's really blue on camera. It is not that blue. It is like really white, like very, very white. Like someone just went and was done. Which is not what I want. I want a nice kind of 
solid color, I guess, but not solid. I'll show you mine when I'm done with this first kind of layer of the outside main color coat. So, oh yeah, this has a mic. Hang on, I'm going to use the mic. Hopefully this thing is working. But, here mine is, here's mine. It's pretty cute, I thought. I sketched everything out, and like I was saying, there's occasional spots of white, but it's mostly just, like, pink. That's because for this particular one, it wasn't going to be a ocean. It was just a solid background color versus that one is an ocean. Oceans aren't perfect. If they were perfect, I would be being a lot more considerate with how I'm painting. And while that's drying, we're going to get some more blue paint going. Get my paintbrush, grab it, and I'm going to not paint the inside much. We don't really want to paint the inside of the lid or the inside of the can. We just really want to paint the outside. Now, since it is an ocean type color theme, I'm not going to make sure that this is a thick coat. I just want it to be a coat. Yeah. I'm just going to let it do what it wants. I'm going to fill in the areas. I'm going to make sure it's nice. I'm going to make sure it looks nice. And if it doesn't look nice, then I'm going to fix it. But I don't see why people are always like, it has to be one certain coat. It has to be one certain color all the way through. And they're doing like a cloud. Except for Mariah Elizabeth. If you know who that is, good on you. But see, look, you can still kind of see through it. That's, that's okay. I don't need a perfect color. I'm just going to spread this color around real quick. Hang on. But look. So, yeah. So when you touch it, you don't want it to be sticky or anything like that. You want it to be a nice, like, paint coat. Not, like, sticky, tacky, or anything like that. And if it just comes off so easily, you need to let it sit for way, 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 way 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 longer and if you just put it on i'm pretty sure i already know just leave it alone and yeah also you're gonna want a bunch of different paint brushes i have more in my room i will bring them out if i need to but i just brought the bare minimum so i always feel like i'm gonna do my makeup these are not my makeup brushes. My makeup brushes are a lot prettier. Then, next things next is I go around touching everywhere with my finger. If I see any more blue come off, I let it sit for longer. I occasionally just do this. But I can kind of feel how it's sticky. I don't want it to be like, like, look. Do you hear this? Let me put it. I don't want it to sound like that. So, meanwhile... <sighs> Meanwhile... 
you can kind of figure out what other colors you're going to want to use for your sharks, jellyfish, or any other things that you're going to be using for this particular, particular customization. Customization. So I'm going to be using a green, a purple, a silver, I'm assuming, like a gray, and a black. Doing green sharks and purple sharks. And I'm probably going to do some gray sharks just to even it out. And then I'm just going to add other fish, little sea plants at the bottom, at the bottom of this container. See, it's starting to get less sticky. That's what I want. I don't want it to be sticky. If it's sticky, then it's like... It's kind of like... Gross. So. Meanwhile, this is happening. You can play with your paint bottles. So, or you can strategize on what your next color or plan is going to be. Oh, yes, let me write this down. I need the perfect calculations. Done. Or you can do what you want. Oh, and it looks like it's about time to start painting again. I'm going to grab one of my smaller brushes, not too small, because if it's too small, then I'm not going to be able to get much work done. This brush. Although, do have a small brush, always prepared. I am talking small, like, compared to this one. That's tiny. Compared to my ow, compared to my eye, that's tiny. So, I'm going to start off with green on my plate. Make sure you shake your paint. Shake your paint. Got the green. We're going to get some purple. Shake your paint. If you forget to shake your paint, it might come out all liquidy and weird. Mm, that doesn't seem like enough paint. I'll just give it a little, another little blob. And be careful when you're squeezing it, because if you squeeze it really hard, then you're going to have, like, a pound of paint out on your plate when you're only going to use, like, two dips of it. We all know it. So, start off with a semi-small brush. That's when I would be counting something like this. Start off with whatever color you want. It can be red, blue, green, purple, pink, purple. I don't care. Just choose a color. I'm going to do green. Green. I got my bottle. I know where I want a shark. And I'm just going to start making outlines. Yay! 
you can get some bigger sharks. Some big sharks, some little sharks. Just do what you want. It's your creation, and if it's for yourself, you can really do what you want. But if you're actually making it for someone else, I suggest you go with what they want. So that way, it's something that they'll actually use. Next things next is you're going to go with a not semi-small, I would say something like this, dip into that green, kind of get it to where it looks like that, and then start filling in the colors. Hey mom, can you get me like a cup of water for my paintbrushes? I'll point the camera down. Here, look, we're going to take a look at the colors of my paint real quick, just to show you. So, I have a... I have, like, what, are, what am I looking at real quick? I think I'm showing a black. I have... I think I'm showing a green? I don't know. Hang on. I got blue. I got... Hang on... Purple, if you could see the purple, good on you. Purple, hopefully you can see that. Purple, gray, green, green, it's there. Purple, blue. Ooh. Yeah, we got all these colors. There's a big puddle of blue right there. Those are the colors I'm using. Alrighty, so I got it and I'm coloring it in just like a coloring page. Do you have to turn that up all the way while I'm recording? Last time I checked, you didn't have a recording channel. Fill it in. And you kind of have the outline of a shark. If you have a cup of water, which I hope you do. Clean your brushes off, otherwise they get all stained and you won't be able to use those brushes again and that's just sad you want to be able to use those brushes Mom? No, look at my dress. Why can't you help me? I dropped a paintbrush on me. I did. No, but there's still paint all over my dress. doing a purple shark next purple
purple, 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 purple. Really should have started off with a smaller brush. I'm gonna just go with the flow. If y'all have seen Nemo, you'll know what that reference is, and if you haven't, watch it. It's the, one of the most amazing movies of all time. I think it's loved by like five bajillion kids. You know, probably 5,284 children have at least watched it and loved it. I don't know how many times. Let me think. If you multiply five bajillion 2,800 um, kids times that times 10, that would probably be how much times they love it. It's a pretty iconic movie. I really, really hope you've seen that movie. If you haven't, like I was saying, watch it. Another shark. It's a purple shark. Give this fin a little more action. Okay, we're gonna do a silver shark. A silver shark, guys. Silver, silver, silver shark. This time I'm starting out with a outline, 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 silver shark outline. We're going to do it on this side of the bottle. And if you don't like the way I draw my sharks, I'm sorry. I make fat sharks. I don't know what you make. I don't keep up with your painting. I don't... When I see a comment or something that says, well, you should do your sharks better. Well, I'm sorry. I Last time I checked, this wasn't your channel. Okay, joking. We're gonna be grabbing this one, grabbing some paint. 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 We're gonna be filling this all up. This is now kind of watered down paint because this brush has water on it. But that's okay. Watered down paint is fine. Just like kind of like watercolor in a way, but. It's really not. I've never actually used watercolor. Actually, I take that back. I have used watercolor paint. It was flipping annoying because every time I would try and br clean my brush off, I would just activate the paint. 
whenever that paint would dry, I would try and clean my brush off. I would accidentally drip the water in it. And the next thing you know, I activate the paint. And I'm just like... Small details. Also, I realized on all of them, I forgot the fin! The most noticeable part of the shark, and I forget it. Silly me. Let me fix that real quick. Dad, I have a video recording. I'm recording a video. Just to let you know. So, yeah, like I said, forgot the most basic thing of the shark. So... They're not the best fins, but they're definitely fins. So, suck it up, buttercup. And once they are dried, Billio can start adding the details. Detail, details, 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 details. Yeah. So we're just going to dip into our black. Good. And we're going to do a little face. Smile. I know that it looks like it has two eyes. That's its nose, that's its eye, that's its mouth, that's its gills, and that's its little fin. So. You dry? Pretty dry. Alrighty, we're gonna do the next shark. Nose. Mouth, gills, fin, done with that shark. Not with the rest of them. If I was done with the rest of them, this video would be over a lot faster, but I'm not. I still have a lot more stuff to do. This shark is going to be the special shark. He's going to be a little see-through. Actually, the, the, they're all kind of see-through. They're special sharks. Kill... Kill, kill, fin, oh, I'm running out of paint, shark, so, is this thing on, hello, yeah, it's fine, alrighty, once you have all that done, I'm gonna try and do a jellyfish. It may not work, but we'll figure it out together. 
since we have a lot of open space like right here i'm gonna add a bunch of herds of basically herd is a jellyfish like a bunch of jellyfish a pack or like what i don't know is it a herd or a pack or i don't know i'm gonna use a green for the jellyfish Jiggly jellyfish. We're gonna make a really tiny one. Oh, running out of green. Make a tiny, 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 tiny one. Jiggly jellyfish. Jiggly jellyfish. Swimming in the sea. We're gonna do another little pack of jellyfish right around here. Hopefully these sharks get out their way because I don't know if these sharks are smart enough or not, but let's hope they are because there's some jiggly jellyfish in their way. So wouldn't want them to run into it. This time we're gonna do some purple jellyfish. Purple jellyfish, purple jellyfish, purple jellyfish, small one. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, we're running out of purple. Oops. Purple. Then we're going to make a huge jellyfish leading the pack. Or whatever this is. Huge jellyfish. Little tentacles are going to be smaller, though. Because he don't want to sting his friends. We're going to do a few extra little fish. That does not look like a fish. We'll fix it. Fish. 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 Doesn't look like a, it's a fish that doesn't look like a fish, guys. We're gonna have to draw fish faces. That kinda looks like a fish. Fish. And now we just gotta wait for them to drop. I dropped my paintbrush. Hang on.
we're going to try and even them out just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm using this black brush to try and even them out, get some of the excess paint off. We're going to be using this brush. To make some fish face. Little mouth. A little, a little gill. And then another little gill. Okay, a little eye mouth. Gill, gill, done. I run there. Mouth, gill, gill. Ooh. I think we had another fish. I thought we had another fish. Alrighty, the last thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this green color and this purple color. And we're gonna be making some sea life. Under the sea, under the sea. Yes, you and me, under the sea, under the sea. And if you expect me to know all the words, you're wrong. Take all of it at the bottom. Purple, purple, purple. We got some sea life. We're going to make sure that it's nice and even. No thicker parts or anything like that. Oop. Got a thick part. Smooth it out. Smooth it out so it dries quite fast. Any thick parts over here? Oop, just a little. Just a little. Oop. The jellyfish has some thicker parts, but that's okay. It's okay. Alrighty, this is the finished product. We're not going to do a reaction. So thank you guys so much for liking if or watching. Sorry. Ooh. If you like this video, though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Come or, um, and that's all for today. Stay crazy in the kid family. Bye bye.